The Rheintal Railway near Rastatt. The 150-year-old route between Karlsruhe and Basel is heavily used with more than 250 local, long distance and freight trains on it every day. Upgrading the 182-kilometer stretch to four tracks will remove a bottleneck in national and international rail transport. The track upgrade, a new section between Karlsruhe and Basel, is seen as the centerpiece of the most important freight corridor in Central Europe, and it is part of the route stretching from Rotterdam via Cologne, Basel and Milan all the way to Genoa. With this upgrade and rebuild, the German rail company will achieve three important goals. Separating slow and fast trains will allow top speeds of 250 kilometers an hour for long distance passenger trains. It will enable regional timetables to be made more appealing. That will mean considerable improvements in travel times and comfort for passengers. For example, the travel time between Karlsruhe and Basel will be reduced to 69 minutes half an hour less than today. Freight transport capacity will be increased to keep pace with the growing economic importance of the European main line. In Rastatt, the new high-speed tracks will lead under the town in two single-track tunnels. The access lines to the north and south of the tunnel will run on recessed tracks. Moving long distance and freight to the new tunnel will also mean an improvement in the quality of life for the people of Rastatt. Besides a noticeable drop in decibel levels, we will also be able to make regional transport more attractive. The two tubes, each 4,270 meters in length, are the second longest tunnels to be constructed along this upgraded and rebuilt route. Construction will begin in the north, with a groundwater tank roughly 800 meters in length east of Urtikheim. Then the tunnel will pass under the Federbach lowlands and the town of Rastatt. The tunnel will finish near Niederbrühl, with a groundwater tank roughly one kilometer long. As the developers, Deutsche Bahn have awarded the construction contract worth a total of roughly 312 million euros to a consortium consisting of the companies Züblin and Hochtief Solutions, Arga Tunnel Rastatt. In the spring of 2015, Arga Tunnel Rastatt began setting up the construction site in the area of the Northern Cutting near Urtigheim. After a cutting 800 meters in length, construction of the tunnel will start with a section 45 meters long using open construction methods. Due to the composition of the soil and the high groundwater level near the town of Rastatt, only closed construction can be used for the main section of the tunnel around 4 kilometers in length using two tunneling machines. Here we are in the northern cutting of the Rastatt tunnel construction site. At its deepest point, it is 18 meters deep. Later, two tunnel boring machines will be set up in this recess, which is currently being concreted. Each machine will be 11 meters in diameter and approximately 85 meters in length. They are due to start work in the spring of 2016. The northern site alone comprises approximately 100,000 square meters, as well as the construction office complex and Deutsche Bahn's information center, proprietary separation systems have also been erected. The material excavated as the tunnel boring machines advance will amount to over 700,000 cubic meters, and it will be recycled here. Wastewater treatment plants have been set up on the northern and southern construction sites, in which all the water used on the two sites will be cleaned. This means that only clean water will be fed back into circulation. To create the north and south cuttings, around 37,000 square meters of sheet piles have been rammed into the ground with a total weight close to 10,000 tons. The sheet piles were secured with around 2,000 ground anchors, which were driven up to 35 meters into the earth. Due to the level of the groundwater, excavations for the foundations of the cutting had to be performed underwater. Then, a one-meter anchored base was concreted underwater. Twenty industrial divers were deployed to perform this work. Only then could the water be pumped out and the reinforcement for the one to two and a half meter thick concrete slabs introduced. Roughly 140,000 cubic meters of concrete were used in the two cuttings and the section of the tunnel for which open construction methods will be used. 
As well as the two main construction sites at the north and south entrances to the future tunnel, there are also several smaller construction sites spread over the urban area of Rastatt, which are essential for preparing tunneling and maintaining the two tunnel boring machines. This also includes the two areas where the ground will have to be strengthened by means of icing. The icing will be performed in two particularly sensitive areas. Firstly, at Federbachauer, where we only have very low cover. The second area will be in the southern section of the project, where the tunnel will pass below the Rheintal railway line at a minimal distance from one of the busiest tracks in Germany without restricting rail traffic. Any change in the track bed will be registered immediately by means of the monitoring system of measurement points over a wide area. For the icing, the earth will be cooled below freezing with a watery brine and thereby strengthened a whole month before the tunnel boring machine passes under the area. The frozen mass then thaws again without leaving any residue. The technique is therefore particularly gentle on the environment. Protection of the environment and nature conservation are important issues for us, and they are a fixed element in the planning of any major project at Deutsche Bahn. For example, numerous measures were put in place around the construction site in Rastatt to protect fauna and flora. Bats and lizards, for example, have been relocated for the duration of the construction work. Numerous protective fences erected for animals and a section of the Federbach stream rerouted into insulated pipes to protect it from freezing over. When the components for the first tunnel boring machine arrive, the countdown will start for the three-month assembly process on site. Tunneling will start in the eastern tube in the spring of 2016 and finish in the autumn of 2017, when the western tube breaks through to the south of Rastatt. After the connecting constructions are completed in the middle of 2018, the interior of the two tunnel tubes will be finished, and in 2022, the first trains will use the new ultra-modern Rastatt tunnel. <laughs>